Bemid bar numbers 20 then came the children of Yasharael even the whole assembly into the desert of Sin in the first month and the people abode in Kadesh and Miriam died there and was buried there and there was no water for the assembly and they gathered themselves together against Moshe and against Aharon. And the people chowed with Moshe and spoke, saying, Would to Elohim that we had died when our brethren died before Yahuwah. And why have ye brought up at the assembly of Yahuwah into this wilderness that we and our cattle should die there. And wherefore have ye made us to come up out of Mitzrayim to bring us in unto this evil place? It is no place of seed or of figs or of vines or of pomegranates, neither is there any water to drink. And Moshe and Aharon went from the presence of the assembly unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, and they fell upon their faces. And the glory of Yahuwah appeared unto them, and Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, saying, Take at the rod, and gather at the assembly together, you and Ahran your brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes, and it shall give forth his water, and you shall bring forth to them water out of the rock. So you shall give at the assembly and at their beasts drink. And Moshe took the rod from before Yahuwah, as he commanded him. And Moshe and Aharon gathered at the assembly together before the rock. And he said unto them, Hear now, ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? And Moshe lifted up at his hand, and with his rod he smote at the rock twice, and the water came out abundantly. Et and the assembly drank, and their beasts also. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe and El Aharon, because ye believed me not, to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Yasharael. Therefore ye shall not bring at this assembly into the land which I have given them. This is the water of Merivah, because the children of Yasharael strove with at Yahuwah, and he was sanctified in them. And Moshe sent messengers from Kadesh, unto the king of Edom. Thus says your brother, Yasharael, you know at all the travail that has befallen us, how our fathers went down into Mitzrayim, and we have dwelt in Mitzrayim a long time, and the Mitzrayim vexed us and our fathers. And when we cried unto El Yahuwah, he heard our voice and sent an angel and has brought us forth out of Mitzrayim. And behold, we are in Kadesh, a city in the uttermost of your border. Let us pass, I pray you, through your country. We will not pass through the fields or through the vineyards, neither will we drink of the water of the wells. We will go by the king's highway. We will not turn to the right hand nor to the left until we pass until we have passed your borders. And Edom said unto him, You shall not pass by me, lest I come out against you with the sword. And the children of Yasharael said unto him, We will go by the highway, and if I and my cattle drink of your water, then I will pay for it. I will only, without doing anything else, go through on my feet. And he said, You shall not go through. And Edom came out 
against him with much people and with a strong hand. Thus Edom refused to give at Yashara'el passage through his border. Wherefore Yashara'el turned away from him. And the children of Yashara'el, even the whole assembly, journeyed from Kadesh and came unto Mount Hor. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe and El Ahran in Mount Hor by the coast of the land of Edom, saying, Ahran shall be gathered unto his people, for he shall not enter into the land which I have given unto the children of Yashara El, because ye rebelled against my et word at the water of Merivah. Take at Ahran and at Eleazar his son, and bring them up unto Mount Hor, and strip at Ahradan, rather, and strip at Ahran of at his garments, and put them upon at Eleazar his son, and Ahran shall be gathered unto his people, and shall die there. And Moshe did as Yahuwah commanded, and they went up into Mount Hor in the sight of all the assembly. And Moshe stripped at Ahran of at his garments and put them upon at Elazar his son. And Ahran died there in the top of the mount. And Moshe and Elazar came down from the mount. And when all the assembly saw that Ahran was dead, they mourned for at Ahran thirty days, even all the house of Yashara El.